Okay, so we are going to model this simple um, bottle shape and I'm going to talk you through all the steps that we went through to get this object. As you can see, it's hollow inside, so it's been shelled. Okay, so let's get started. First, you need to create a new file. Call it, uh, we'll call this wine underscore wine tool. And then we will create the new part. Okay, so first uh, we are going to draw on the top plane. So I select the top plane and choose sketch. I'm going to use the center and point tool and I'm going to start by clicking on the center of the environment. Click once with the left click and drag out a circle and then click again with the left click to complete the circle. Use the normal tool which allows you to dimension and we're going to set the diameter at 80 millimeters. So you type in 80 and press enter. Okay, um, and then when you've completed that, you must tick OK, which is the end of the sketch. Now we're going to rotate by using the mouse wheel pressed in and just rotate it into three dimensional view and then press extrude. Now this creates our circle into a cylinder. I'm now going to set the height of the cylinder to 150 millimeters and if I use the magnify glass which is the refit it always puts your model back into the middle so if you zoom out it refits okay so we've set that at 150 so now we press OK and whenever it goes grey and you've ticked OK this is a good opportunity to do file and save Okay, next step, we're going to hover over the top surface and we're going to left click once so it goes dark green. And then we're going to ask to create a sketch on this flat surface. This time, you're going to use the center and point tool again. And we're going to select the middle point again, left click and drag out a smaller circle, left click to stop. Again, we're going to use the normal tool and we're going to set the diameter. And here we're setting this to 25 millimeters. OK, when you've done that, press OK. Rotate slightly 3D and then press extrude. And here you will see the cylinder has come out okay and I'm going to set that extrusion at 100 millimeters refit so you can see okay and then press the green tick to apply what we have done okay so it looks like a loo brush or something like that okay now the next step is we're going to start applying some rounds using the round tool to create some of the shape and form. So click on the round tool um, and then hover over the inside edge of the smaller cylinder. Click on that. That's automatically given me five. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and I'm going to move this up. And I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to say that we would like that at, uh, let's say, 30 millimeters. Okay. 
and now tick OK. Now we're going to choose the round again and we're going to choose the outside line and here we can now bring that down okay and I'm going to set that at 50 millimeters okay so we've got something like that as a shape and then I'm going to tick OK. Now I'm going to use the round tool again. This time I'm going to click on the bottom edge of the bottle and I'm going to put five millimeters as a radius to give it a rounded edge at the base and tick OK. Now some bottles have um, an indentation underneath uh, to help them during the production line. Um, so I am going to choose the bottom surface by making it go dark green and choose sketch. I'm now going to choose center and point, click on the middle, click and drag Okay, and click to stop. Use the normal tool and I'm going to set that at 55 and press OK. Now I'm going to rotate it so I can see it in 3D and I'm going to extrude again. Now this time the extrusion comes out and if you now push it back in using the white little square dot, I'm going to put that in and it will remove material. OK, so this button here is the remove material and I'm going to go in 15 millimeters. And then I'm going to tick OK. I'm now going to use the round tool again and I'm going to go in to the corner of the shape we've just made. Click on that and I'm going to set that. I'm going to bring that up to about. Yeah, I'm going to make that 14 millimeters. OK, uh, maybe let's see if we say now I'm going to set that at 20, 20 millimetres, nice round number and tick OK. So now we've got a bit of a groove or a kind of an indentation in the bottom of the bottle. I'm now going to use the round tool one more time and I'm going to select that line around that circular indentation and I'm going to put a just a slightly radius edge on there. I'm going to make that five as well and then tick OK. So we've got a softer shape underneath that bottle. OK, so we're pretty much there. Uh, the final step for this <coughs> at this stage is I'm going to choose the top surface so it goes dark green <clears throat> and now we're going to choose the shell tool. The shell tool hollows out, it shells out the shape so if you click on that um, and then you can choose the thickness of the material so here I'm going to make the material two millimeters thick and if you tick OK and you rotate round you can see down inside that bottle okay and if you hit refit now you can show yourself around the model and see what you have okay it's a basic um, object um, just to show you the round tool extrude tool uh, circular sketch tool um, and the shell tool